Welcome to our webinar, Ready, Set, Texas Tech. We are excited to have you joining us today. My name is Christine Self with Parent and Family Relations, and joining me today are Lorena Williams from TSI and Christy Fonseca Williams from Raider Ready. This webinar is part of our Red Raider Family webinar series, where we share information on topics of interest to parents, families, and supporters of our students. We hope this webinar will help you support your student as they prepare to attend Texas Tech and be successful. As you can see on the screen, we have upcoming webinars on topics like financial aid, um, tuition and billing, living on campus, campus safety, and others planned this summer. So we hope you'll join us for other webinars this summer as well. We plan to keep this webinar um, to about 30 minutes or so. If there's time at the end, we'll open it up for questions using the Zoom Q&A feature. In the meantime, feel free to type in your questions throughout the presentation. We do have some folks working behind the scene to answer those questions for you. We are recording the session and posting it to our website so that you'll be able to review it again later or share it with others. We'll also email the recording link to the email you used when you, register, when you registered for the webinar. All right, so let's begin. I will go ahead and turn it over to Lorena. Hello, everyone. We are so glad that you joined us today. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, College Readiness Department um, and the two programs that uh, serve your students um, in those. So College Readiness in our department, um, we have two two programs, TSI, um, which I will talk about um, here in a second, and uh, Raider Ready. So if you think about getting your student ready for college, college readiness, you kind of think of the academic side. Do I have the skills? Am I ready um, for the academic challenges? Am I ready for the academic setting? And then Raider Ready is kind of, am I ready to make the jump from being a high school student um, at home or the support of some uh, familiar system to stepping into a collegiate environment where it's a little more self-motivated, it's a little uh, self-discipline. Um, so what our department does is we kind of uh, want to partner with students and make that transition um, a successful a transition, hopefully. So um, like Christine told you, my name is Lorena Williams. Um, I am the TSI program director. Here after a minute, you'll meet Christy, um, and she is the uh, Raider Ready program director. Um, so Texas Success Initiative is when I talked about the two sides, the academic side and kind of the social emotional side. The TSI uh, side would be your academic. So am I academically um, kind of college ready? Am I ready to make that step? Um, when you apply to Texas Tech, you could have applied um, test optional. Test optional does not apply to TSI. This is probably our biggest, I would say, misconception um, and probably one of our most frequently asked questions is, um, my student applied uh, test optional or I applied test optional. TSI is really gauged um, at setting your readiness for college. What it does is it gives us lots of information about the skills you already possess and the skills that may need a little bit of refinement. Um, so TSI is something that we, we need on record. Um, if you do not make meet the TSI standard, there are some exceptions and we'll get into that here in a minute, um, but this is a very technical language um, for TSI, but an entering college student must demonstrate their college readiness by meeting a minimum standard on the TSI assessment in math, reading, and writing, or by demonstrating an exemption for each area. And like I said, we'll get into those exemptions here in a second. Those students who do not meet this standard must enroll in the appropriate developmental course designed to improve their academic skills and prepare them for college level courses. That is a very technical way to say TSI <clears throat> is a department that partners with your student um, when they are registering for those entry level collegiate classes. Um, what we do is we partner with them um, and they enroll in a course that is very much an extension of their call of their math or reading class. So this is not an additional class. This is not um, mom, dad, aunt, uncle, I am, I am enrolled in two math classes. What we want to do is partner with that student and essentially offer a time when you can come bring questions to us. We can clarify maybe a lecture point um, that the student had had difficulty with. Um, so that is what our what those developmental courses um, are really established to be here at Texas Tech. They are not an additional course. 
Um, another question that we get pretty often is, um, I took college prep uh, at my high school. I took college bridge in my high school. So Texas Tech University does not accept college bridge or college prep coursework to exempt a student from the TSI class. Um, I would say there are a few things that we are really going to highlight today. Um, like I said, the TSI um, is not um, test optional. And I would say this one is probably the second one that we really want to um, ensure that you guys um, know a little bit more about. So if a student takes either of these programs in high school, it's really important that they understand that we will still require a TSI score or another acceptable exemption. And like I said, we'll talk about those exemptions here. There's a few different ways um, that they can be exempt. Um, and we want to be sure that you guys have those um, available to you. So um, one thing that in, in the kind of discussing what um, is important and what can you guys um, walk away from today and, and talk with your students about. So um, how can I talk to my student about college readiness? So again, I, talk, I talked a little bit about college readiness is really the whole student. It's academic side um, and kind of that social emotional transition into being a collegiate student. So um, one thing I might ask my student is, do you know what TSI is? Um, most um, public high schools will, will take this with their students um, or have their students take this either junior or senior year. Um, if your student is unsure what the TSI is, um, let us know. Uh, we have um, our contact information will be on, on, on this. And so um, reach out to us. And if you need some help, and there's a slide here at the end that kind of describes what the TSI is. Um, do you know what the TSI measures and why it's important? Again, the TSI measures how academically ready or skills, I should say, that a student already possesses um, to kind of help make their path here at Tech, um, to let us know where they might need a little bit of support. And you know what, where they are golden and where they where they excel. Um, and why is it important? Again, it, it's, it's a roadmap. It kind of helps us um, know where the support is needed. Um, one thing that we are really working um, with our advisors across campus is, um, have we thought about our goals? So what are our goals? If I really, really have this life dream of being um, an engineer and I'm struggling a little bit with math, something for us to, to know as students is, you know what? I know I'm gonna need a little bit of support. I have this life dream of being an engineer, but I need a little bit of help and I need a little bit of support in my math skills. Those are things that are completely okay and we have those resources here. We just want students to understand um, that uh, a support is is just support and it, sometimes it's needed. It's nothing um, to shy away from or something um, to deny. If it's there and you need it, please grab it. Um, another thing is we have some people, I really wanna be a copyright. I really wanna get into writing, um, but I know I need writing support. So just something to kind of talk to your student about would be um, what are your goals? Um, what skill sets do we already possess? What things do I know I absolutely love? What things do I know are absolutely a challenge? Um, so some of these things that I uh, had mentioned earlier was this exempt pathway. So if you are a screenshotter, if you are a let me grab my phone and take a picture right now would be the perfect time to get those phones out and take a picture of this right here. So if you are participating in any TSI exempt pathway, so talk to your students. Um, they may have done dual credit at their high schools or whether that was public, private, home, Dual credit counts. Um, if you have an English or a math and you scored a C or better, uh, make sure you share those transcripts with the registrar's office. Um, and those could potentially get you TSI exempt. Um, qualifying AP scores. The higher ed board um, kind of designates to us every year what score qualifies. So I couldn't tell you like, oh, a four will get you in or a five will, will exempt you. It's something um, that they designate. And so as you start getting your AP scores back, which I think that's happening very soon or currently, um, share those with um, the registrar's office. Um, and let's see if we can get some of those TS TSI um, compliant check boxes. Um, another thing that could qualify you is a certain ACT or 
ACT or SAT score. So again, make sure you're sending um, your records to the registrar's office because um, they kind of house all the compliance on the TSI. Um, and the other one would be any college credit. So we do have a few students um, or parents or your support system that may be on this call that are coming for transfers. So if you have um, some college credits that you've already taken um, that could exempt you from English or math, um, please share those with us. Uh, if your student tells you, I'm not sure what the TSI test is, I don't think I've ever taken the TSI test. Um, we, on our website, we do have some kind of tips and tricks um, and ways to prepare for the TSI test. Um, so if you scan this QR code, um, or you can simply um, Google TTU TSI tips and tricks, and it will take you to this website. Thank you, Lorena. You did an incredible job of such a, such a, so much information and a little bit of time. All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Christy Fonseca Williams, and I uh, work alongside Lorena in our college readiness department. Um, I am the program director for Raider Ready. Um, so immediately when people hear Raider Ready, um, I would hope they would think, um, community building. And the reason why I share that is because that is our purpose when we're talking about Raider Ready and this one hour course that is available for your student to take their first semester at Texas Tech. All right, so again, when we hear the word Raider Ready, um, immediately I want us to think community. This is a community, this is a class specifically for my first year student. Um, and it necessarily, when I mean first year, first semester, I'm meaning um, specifically first year, first semester at Texas Tech. Um, this is just not for freshmen, this is uh, for everyone, transfer students. Um, and so just to explain a little bit about what our Raider Ready program is, um, it offers an optional one hour credit course for students who are a little apprehensive about the next stage of college life. So basically when we're moving from high school to college, whether it's their first semester at Texas Tech or their first time entering a career after graduation, Raider Ready courses offer and focus on transitions in life as students need safe, accepting and non-judgmental spaces in which to learn coping, studying, express successes and concerns, and even more so asking for help. Students who take the course feel more connected to Texas Tech and more prepared for their futures here, especially at Texas Tech. They can become Raider Ready today and for their lives tomorrow. So as a parent, as a guardian, or as a student, why should your student register for Raider Ready 1100? So let's look at our overall health. The overall well-being is important, and students learn about this, all the many resources and support here at Texas Tech. I always say Texas Tech is incredible. It has so many resources. But at the same time, when you have so many resources, it's sometimes a little challenging to designate when and where and how do I get to these resources that can help me? Academically, of course, one of the main goals and purposes of coming to Texas Tech are for academic reasons. So Texas Tech has so many academic resources as well. Um, so students learn how to navigate and use the ones they need. So when we're talking specifically about academic resources, we're talking about our incredible tutoring centers. We're talking about our incredible uh, department tutoring centers. And so what's the difference in that? Um, and again, these are a lot of the specifics that your, your students will be made aware of, but even more so, not just be made aware of, but how do we use these? Um, and guess what? Most of these are already included in your tuition and fees, so they're already paid for. How, how amazing is that? So let's talk about retention. Um, statistically, students are more likely to attend their second semester um, here at Texas Tech if they take our Raider Ready 1100 course. So in a sense, we provide them with a simple overall understanding of how do I do college? 
what do I do here when I'm at, at Texas Tech? Not just my overall um, well-being and social aspect of it, but also academically. All right, so how does the Raider Ready 1100 bridge the gap between high school and Texas Tech? We incorporate and provide planners. I know something that sounds very simple, um, but it's really amazing to see how students truly um, need some guidance on how do we utilize planners? How do we incorporate, I'm taking three classes, four classes, five classes, maybe even six courses here in my first semester. How do I keep all of that organized? Um, how do I make sure that I don't miss a quiz, whether it's online or face-to-face? -face? Um, again, to reiterate, we talk about the academic skills. We talk about all of our university resources. Um, we look at the holistic approach, and even more so, not only do we want to ensure that your student is being taken care of academically, but also a holistic approach, their well-being as well. We're gonna look at having those classroom conversations. We're gonna, we want your student to participate in these conversations so that we have a good understanding, our students have a good understanding of what we may consider simple concepts of how do I visit or talk with my instructor when I'm not understanding a concept? How do I even schedule a meeting with them? And even on the flip side of that, let's look at how do I meet, make friends? Where do I um, use these social skills that I came with um, to ensure I have a, a, a nice group um, that not only um, we share a lot of similarities, but we can actually go and do some fun things together as a group as well. So if your student registers for Raider Ready, they will receive 12 weeks of support with questions like these. Are they organized? What are some of the ways that they're gonna make friends? What about starting college makes them nervous? How do you think that college will be different from high school? What will you do if your cor course is hard and you don't feel like you're doing well? And how much confidence do we have when we start college? So basically the way that I like to explain 12 weeks, you have your student will receive 12 weeks of meeting once a week for 50 minutes. That gets them to about the week right before the Thanksgiving break. So again, we have this, this wonderful community that your student will have access to to help them with these various possible challenges that they may have their first semester here at Texas Tech. So um, Lorena mentions uh, dual credit AP. Um, and so these are skill sets that a lot of our students come with, right? So for a lot of our students, um, we know that they have uh, completed some dual credit, they've completed AP, they've even maybe uh, uh, experienced an IB program. Um, so with all of these uh, college ready type skill sets, what does that really look like when they are here on our campus at Texas Tech? Are they independent? Um, are they a self-starter? Do you really think they're prepared for college? Um, will they have any friends at Texas Tech? And how are they uh, doing so far in the semester? Um, did they have challenges in high school that would transpire into college? And so when we're looking at these various skill sets or some of the challenges, um, or maybe they didn't have challenges when they were in high school, we have to also remember that those skill sets that they used in those dual credit classes and in those IB programs and possibly even in those AP courses, sometimes those skill sets are helpful, but it looks pretty, pretty different um, when they uh, sometimes arrive here on our campus. And so Raider Ready, again, is a great way to incorporate what some of those changes, but even more so, how do we work with those changes um, to ensure success for your student? Last but not least, how does my student even register for this Raider Ready 1100? Believe it or not, it's actually pretty simple. Um, when your student attends uh, their orientation, their Red Raider orientation, just ask their advisor and let them know, 
I want to register for Raider Ready 1100. I can assure you that your advisor, your student's advisor, will know exactly what they're talking about. So again, um, Raider Ready, it's a great way um, to provide not only, all, not only an academic support, but a social and overall holistic support for your student. Thank you. All right, well, I wanna thank our presenters um, for sharing this wonderful information with us. Um, at this time, we have about five minutes left um, for questions. So please type those questions in that Q&A feature and we will get those answered for you. Um, again, I, one of the questions I did see that was asked a little bit earlier was um, how do I get the recording of this and the information afterwards? So we will email you a link to the page where the recording will be um, placed along with all of the links that were shared on the screen or in the chat during this presentation. Um, so we'll get that to you later this afternoon. We've got to do a little video editing um, and get that ready for you. Um, one question I'm seeing here is, is the Raider Ready course an extra tuition cost? So Christy, would you mind answering that question, please? Hi, yes. Um, Raider Ready, um, so the benefit um, to Raider Ready, there are so many benefits, uh, but the student does receive a one credit um, uh, one credit towards their uh, degree plan. So yes, there is a cost. Um, it's the cost of, of, of a one hour credit here at Texas Tech, but they do receive the one hour credit. And speaking of credit, um, we've got someone asking, is the Raider, is Raider, Raider Ready a graded course and what are the grades based on? Yes, Raider Ready is a graded course, um, just like any other course would be graded. Um, your student um, definitely has the opportunity uh, to earn an A, B, C, uh, D, or, or uh, we we definitely don't don't want to fall below uh, that passing grade. But yes, definitely Raider Ready is a graded course. Um, and what that looks like is typically um, participation is going to be um, the priority and attendance is going to be the priority when your student attends Raider Ready. Again, the purpose of Raider Ready is to build that community for your student. It's the opportunity for your student to come to this one hour class um, once a week. Um, and again, the nice thing about Raider Ready is we offer multiple sections. So really, whichever section, whichever day and time works best for them is definitely an option for your student as well. Okay, thank you. One question that I get from families a lot, and um, it really pertains to Raider Ready as well, is, you know, how big are those classes? Um, what size class should someone expect taking a Raider Ready course? Awesome. Thank you so much, Christine, for asking that. Our Raider Ready courses, um, they um, are approximately 20 students per class. Um, at most, there would be 25. Um, we actually do have a cap of 25 on those courses. So again, it allows your student to actually be in a smaller class um, to help build um, that community for them. Um, so again, at most um, 25, but typically we we really stay around the, the 20 student count for those classes. Awesome, excellent opportunity for a student to take a small class. Um, as a first year student. Um, so right now on your screen, we would love to hear your thoughts on our webinar. Um, so please scan that QR code. We'll also follow up with the link um, to our survey. Let us know how we did. Um, if you continue to have questions, please do put those in the Q&A um, and we will stay behind the scenes to get those answered for you. Um, thank you again for joining us. Thank you to all of our presenters and watch for an email uh, from Parent and Family Relations this afternoon, um, giving you the link to the recording, the slides, um, and also where you can sign up for additional webinars. Um, for example, we have one in about one week that's going to be on tuition, um, billing, financial aid, and military um, benefits. So if you have questions about those things, um, please do join us for the webinar next week. All right. Well, thank you again so much and keep those questions coming. We'll get those answered for you. Thank you.